So another way to regulate CDK activity is through phosphorylation. So let's look at these two CDKs over here. This one has a cyclin, it's active. Okay, we're used to that. Now this one also has a cyclin, however, it is inactive. So why is that? Well, this has a phosphate on it, and not just any phosphate, it's an inhibitory phosphate. Um, so uh, remember how a couple of videos ago, kind of a long time ago, but we talked about how um, adding a phosphate can either activate uh, a protein or it can deactivate it, depending on the protein um, that we're talking about. So in this case, adding this phosphate is actually um, inhibiting CDK activity, and this is added by a inhibitory kinase. Um, kinase, again, just transfers phosphate that it gets from ATP hydrolysis. Um, and then um, to activate that CDK, we would use a phosphatase. Phosphatase takes off a phosphate, so we would remove that inhibitory phosphate, and therefore activating the CDK once again. So through kinases and phosphatases, we can um, regulate the activity of CDK.